everybody. I'm reporting to you from Scottsdale, Arizona. As you can see, I am traveling and I am going to talk to you about the sign of traveling Sagittarius. This next month is a very, very interesting um, astrologically speaking, anthropologically speaking, because as we progress towards the winter solstice, towards around 22nd of December, the nights are becoming bigger and the day becomes shorter, symbolizing darkness growing while light getting a little bit smaller. And it scares it scares us still today. Some people get into what is called SAD, Seasonal Affective Disorder. They get very much like the winter gloom in a sense. And that's one of the great beauties about the zodiac because it's almost as if the astrologers of the past recognized this fact. And in order to battle this winter blues or this sadness, they have decided to create Sagittarius. And Sagittarius is a fire sign. So it's almost like when it's really, really cold, when there is no light out there, let's gather at the night, light a fire, tell stories. Sagittarius is the sign of storytelling. Sagittarius is the sign of myths, of religion, philosophy. It is a very interesting sign because it's also the sign of truth and the sign of teaching. So the next month, you have a period of time where it's almost like you're going to start downloading a lot of truth, a lot of your own meaning of life. And that's what I recommend during these next 30 days, is to focus not on the fact that the night is growing and the day is getting shorter, but the fact that you have more time to understand, to go inside, to find your own inner light. It's a beautiful period of time. That's why we celebrate the holidays of light right now. Hanukkah, we're approaching Christmas, Thanksgiving. One of the things that is really interesting about the Zodiac and about how astrology works is that because Sagittarius ruled this very problematic period of time of the year, they've decided to make this sign the sign of optimism, the sign of luck. And what you have to do during these next 30 days is play around, tantalize, um, have Fortuna, the great goddess of luck, um, show you some magic. And you do it by appreciating her presence. That's why Sagittarians are very, very lucky, because they're very much aware of luck and how it works. So if something lucky happens to you, like, for example, I'm very lucky to be here today to talk about Sagittarius, and I happen to be traveling, and I said Sagittarius is the sign of traveling. So I stop for a second, and I appreciate it, and then I decide, you know what, I'm going to do the YouTube now instead of waiting when I come back to LA like I was planning. So you capitalize on things that are lucky, the things that are really good, and then you stop for a second and say, you know what? I'm a lucky person. The minute you say that, it's almost like a prayer. You're almost like summoning more luck. Like attract like. Luck attract luck. So in the next man month, practice it. You know, you got it to an appointment just on time, even though there was a lot of traffic and you left late. Stop for a second and say, I'm a lucky person. Good things happen to me. That's what Sagittarians do. And that's why they are very, very lucky. That's why they get a lot of help. That's why they are also optimistic. Because even though they got the worst real estate, you can say, of the year, astrologically speaking, they are the ruler of optimism. They tell us, listen, times are not really good, and we can believe them, because this is not a very easy period of time, but things are going to get better. The other thing that Sagittarius is, is all about traveling. Like I said, if you can't travel because of money situation or because of work, you can still travel. Get some um, uh, documentaries about foreign cultures. Read about different countries and different traditions, probably it will activate your subconscious, maybe past lifetimes when you have been in those places, and you'll go to sleep, and you'll be able to dream about these places. Travel without movement is one of the greatest things that Sagittarius gave us. Now, Sagittarius rules truth, and that's also a beautiful thing, because Sagittarius also rules teaching. So Sagittarians, or we, by becoming Sagittarius in the next month, not only can receive the truth, but can also communicate that truth. That's why Sagittarius is the sign of philosophers, Spinoza, for example. It's the sign of uh, religion, because those two aspects of life try to grasp the ingraspable and translate it to us. Uh, that's why, for example, the symbol of Sagittarius is not only a centaur that shoots towards the target, it shoots to the stars, to things that most signs, most people cannot grasp, they can, and they can translate it. So in the next month, you have the ability to become Sagittarius, and by becoming Sagittarius, you can attract the good qualities of Sagittarians. Now, opportunities is another thing that Sagittarius rules, because Sagittarians are ruled by Jupiter, the most important planet, you can say, in uh, astrology, the biggest one in the solar system by far. So. What Sagittarius gives us is a lot of opportunities. So in the next month, up until winter solstice, you have a lot of opportunities. Opportunities to say thank you during Thanksgiving. Opportunities to appreciate light. It is the season of light. December 11th is going to be um, Hanukkah. It's also a very important time to appreciate light, to appreciate the growth of optimism and luck. 
So this next month, really focus on grasping opportunities. Find your inner um, meaning of life or what is your inner religion? How do you connect? Religion comes from to realign. How do you realign with the one, with the oneness? Uh, try to find your own system to connect to your philosophy, the love of, of uh, wisdom. This is a very interesting month where you can receive a lot of information and give a lot of information. In fact, the Hebrew letter that rules Sagittarius in Kabbalah is Samech, which means um, to trust, to be adjacent, to be close to. And that's what Sagittarius do. They give us, they get us closer through stories, through myth, through religion, through philosophy, to the one, to the truth. So travel, even if you don't have to move for that. Connect to your truth, philosophy, religion, see documentaries if you can. Um, try to help other people, tell stories, and it's a very active month. Even though it's winter and you feel like you want to be like a bear, go to uh, sleep, don't forget that people like Bruce Lee were uh, Sagittarians, so everything has to do with martial arts, with uh, action, with movement, with athleticism, um, is very much what Sagittarius is all about. So have a great, great month, and I'll talk to you next month about Capricorn, and until then, just enjoy the unconditional love given to us by Jupiter. Thanks a lot.